Hi, I'm Tim from Volo. I'm going to talk to you about the little engine that can, a low-cost Stirling engine project. First, I want to start with energy infrastructure here in the U.S. Today, we see basically two types. We see uh, electricity and we see um, gasoline and that's what you see on this chart up here tells us uh, the energy use and you can see electrical generation and also the petroleum industry right here and those are our two major sources of uh, energy use today in the US now if I look at either one of those particular uh, if I look at either one of those particular industries I see that there is just a tremendous amount of infrastructure associated with each one. In the electricity uh, generation uh, field, there is uh, everything from a um, power plant generating the electricity, an right? engine, so to speak, generating the electricity, to the transmission towers that are in place to transmit the electricity, um, coming down into the actual uh, uh, smaller power lines running through your neighborhood, uh, giving you that electricity. If I look at the oil or gas, same thing. Drilling, refinery, tanker, pumps. Tremendous industries behind both of these um, both of these industries. <clears throat> and that's why and what I call what makes me think of is uh, an economic trade-off that we pay for that for that um, type of efficiency and that's what we have here is we have the uh, large capital infrastructure versus other forms of alternative energy which uh, I'm going to call the uh, weak ladies solar and wind power and, and other uh, biomass and uh, things of that sort so you have this uh, momentum and this efficiency that's in place but it's very difficult to displace and one way to do that is through technology. And that's what the Sterling Engine is all about today. Our optimal situation would be the uh, flux capacitor, right? You're back to the future. You put in a little beer. You put in some bananas. You produce energy from any kind of food, garbage, or waste. Very flexible and very independent. <clears throat> Enter Robert Sterling. This guy... Um, was around in 1870 is when he um, came out with his engine and this is a diagram of his engine or a small picture of it and the engine uh, basically works off of a hot air right and you can see his piston is right here and the air is uh, coming in here and warming up that piston causing it to uh, to to move this wheel Now, it, it works, uh, the engine operates on external heat. So it's a, it's a gas expansion, and, and the heat can be anywhere. It can be from the sun, can be from wood, can be from waste, whatever. Um, there's a minimum number of parts uh, compared to the internal combustion engine. There are no valves, there's no spark plugs, there's no oil, and it's very efficient. You can uh, ask NASA. Uh, some of their experiments came up with 10 to 20% more efficient. It's a diagram of it. This is more of a closer to the NASA type of engine. This is a Sterling engine that's running off a, a ice uh, glass of ice. So why aren't these Sterling engines used? They're so great today. Well, they have some limitations. One is low power out of these for their size and low torque. You can't beat the explosion that gasoline gives you for torque. Two, they are being used. You have these desktop models and you have industrial sized models. They're very expensive. So our project is to build a low cost Sterling engine that can do real work, about one kilowatt uh, of output. Uh, we use the standard parts and materials, open source the plans, and we're using Kickstarter to support our uh, funding. 
Why? Why are we doing this? Well, we want to develop an infrastructure for independent energy, uh, an, an infrastructure independent energy solution, a low cost alternative for electrical generation, and a flexible fuel engine, wood, gas, waste, solar, whatever it might be. So we have any, you still need a fuel, of course, and but you can use any fuel into the engine to make the engine run and output electricity from that engine working. The next time someone is asking you, why is gas so expensive? How do we achieve energy independence? Tell them who is Robert Sterling. Support us at Kickstarter. You can follow our progress on our blog or via Kickstarter. Thank you so much for your time tonight.